Let's turn now to Delta State, where some indigents in Wari North local government area are facing an unprecedented sea surge which has destroyed critical infrastructure, leaving many stranded. The community attributes this disaster to climate change and activities of oil companies, which they believe are exacerbating sea encroachment. Ikenamichi has details. The coastal community is struggling to cope with the rising sea level, which has already destroyed essential buildings and infrastructure. The community is urgently seeking government intervention to salvage what remains. We don't get house. We don't get school. We don't get uh, hospital. We don't get uh, health center. We don't get water. We are suffering from all those. No light. This uh, solar light that Real Energy brought, erosion has taken it away. This house from the river, from this house, is almost six miles. Erosion has taken it away. So we don't have anywhere to stay. My own house now, erosion has taken it. I don't have anywhere to stay. Government making efforts. We are from Ogeya Goroke. In response to their plight, the Olu of Wari has donated relief materials to the affected residents. The surge that is affecting the community, how houses, building, livelihood of the community is being washed away because as a result of the sea surge. So he deems it fit that he will not allow the, the pain the community is passing through. He is also feeling the pain where he is. Whatever uh, cry out the community, the need of the community, that is the reason why we are here this afternoon. But sending us that from worry, it didn't make fit that he know that for now, people have lost their livelihood, lost their food stock. As I said, the little thing they have, the community should take it from him. The half of the, the Alaja, we talk to people, and may God bless you people, was he crying on or what happened in this our river? We still want the the protect the sea protection to be done. However, neighboring Orere community is also facing similar ordeal with the high sea surge nearly submerging the community and destroying their jetty, leaving no access point. The situation demands immediate attention and action from the government and relevant authorities to mitigate the effect of climate change and ensure survival of these coastal communities.